Good morning, brothers and sisters. Please all kneel for our prayers. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. O Jesus, through the Immaculate Heart of Mary, I offer you my prayers, works, joys, and sufferings of this day, in union with the holy sacrifice of the Mass throughout the world. I offer them for all the intentions of your Sacred Heart, the salvation of souls, reparation for sins, the reunion of all Christians. I offer them for the intentions of our bishops and priests, and of all apostles of prayer, and in particular for the intentions of the Holy Father for this month. We pray for children who are suffering, especially those who are homeless, orphans, and victims of war. May they be guaranteed access to the education and the opportunity to experience family affection. Oratio Imperata Merciful and compassionate Father, we confess our sins and we humbly come to you to find forgiveness and life. We come to you in our need to seek your protection against the COVID-19 virus that has disturbed and claimed many lives. We ask you now to look upon us with love and by your healing hand dispel the fear of sickness and death. Restore our hope and strengthen our faith. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Bless our efforts to use the medicines developed to end the pandemic in our country. We pray for our health workers that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. Grant them health in mind and body strength in their commitment, protection from the disease. We pray for those afflicted. May they be restored to health. Protect those who care for them. Grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in these trying times to work for the good of all and to help those in need. May our concern and compassion for each other see us through this crisis and lead us to conversion and holiness. Grant all this through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition and our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers. O glorious and blessed Virgin, Amen. Entrustment of the Home to Mary Help of Christians Most Holy Virgin Mary, appointed by God to be the help of Christians, we choose you as the Mother and Protectress of our Home. We ask you to favor us with your powerful protection. Preserve our Home from every danger, from fire, flood, lightning, storm, earthquake, thieves, vandals, and from every other danger. Bless us, protect us, defend us. Keep us your own, all the people who dwell in this home. Protect them from all accidents and misfortunes, but above all, obtain for them the most important grace of avoiding sin. Mary, help of Christians, pray for all those who live in this home, which is entrusted to you for all time. Amen. Mary, Mother of Christ, Mary, Help of Christians, Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Saint Joseph, Saint John Bosco, Saint Raphael the Archangel, San Roque, San Lorenzo Ruiz, San Pedro Calungsod, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. From the National Shrine of Mary, Help of Christians Parish, Paranaque City, Philippines. A blessed morning, brothers and sisters. 
Welcome to our celebration of the Holy Eucharist on this Wednesday of the 33rd week in Ordinary Time. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you always. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, we now acknowledge our sins as we prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. I confess. To Almighty God, God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. Grant us, we pray, O Lord our God, the constant gladness of being devoted to you, for it is full and lasting happiness to serve with constancy the author of all that is good. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the book of Revelation. I, John, had a vision of an open door to heaven, and I heard the trumpet-like voice that had spoken to me before, saying, Come up here, and I will show you what must happen afterwards. At once I was caught up in spirit. A throne was there in heaven, and on the throne sat one whose appearance sparkled like jasper and carnelian. Around the throne was a halo as brilliant as an emerald. Surrounding the throne, I saw twenty-four other thrones, on which twenty-four elders sat, dressed in white garments and with gold crowns on their heads. From the throne came flashes of lightning, rumblings, and peals of thunder. Seven flaming torches burned in front of the throne, which are the seven spirits of God. In front of the throne was something that resembled a sea of glass like crystal. In the center and around the throne, there were four living creatures, covered with eyes in front and in back. The first creature resembled a lion. The second was like a calf. 
the third has a face like that of a man, and the fourth looks like an eagle in flight. The four living creatures, each of them with six wings, were covered with eyes inside and out. Day and night they do not stop exclaiming, Holy, holy, holy is the Lord God Almighty, who was and who is and who is to come. Whenever the living creature gives glory and honor and thanks to the one who sits on the throne, who lives forever and ever, the 24 elders fall down before the one who sits on the throne and worship him who lives forever and ever. They throw down their crowns before the throne, exclaiming, Worthy are you, Lord our God, to receive glory and honor and power. For you created all things. Because of your will, they came to be and were created. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise the Lord in his sanctuary. Praise him in the firmament of his strength. Praise him for his mighty deeds. Praise him for his sovereign majesty. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise him with the blast of the trumpet. Praise him with lyre and harp. Praise him with timbrel and dance. Praise Him with strings and pipe. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Praise Him with sounding cymbals. Praise Him with clanging cymbals. Let everything that has breath praise the Lord. Alleluia. Holy, holy, holy Lord, mighty God. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. I chose you from the world to go and bear fruit that will last, says the Lord. Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. While people were listening to Jesus speak, he proceeded to tell a parable because he was near Jerusalem. And they thought that the kingdom of God would appear there immediately. So he said, A noble man went off to a distant country to obtain the kingship for himself and then to return. He called ten of his servants and gave them ten gold coins and told them, Engage in trade with this until I return. His fellow citizens, however, despised him and sent a delegation after him to announce, We do not want this man to be our king. But when he returned after obtaining the kingship, he had the servants called, to whom he had given the money, to learn what they had gained by trading. The first came forward and said, Sir, your gold coin has earned ten additional ones. He replied, Well done, good servant. You have been faithful in this very small matter. Take charge of ten cities. 
Then the second came and reported, Your gold coin, sir, has earned five more. And to this servant, too, he said, You, take charge of five cities. Then the other servant came and said, Sir, here is your gold coin. I kept it stored away in a handkerchief, for I was afraid of you, because you are a demanding man. You take up what you did not lay down, and you harvest what you did not plant. He said to him, With your own words I shall condemn you, you wicked servant. You knew I was a demanding man, taking up what I did not lay down, and harvesting what I did not plant. Why did you not put my money in the bank? Then on my return I would have collected it with interest. And to those standing by he said, Take the gold coin from him, and give it to the servant who has ten. But they said to him, Sir, he has ten gold coins. He replied, I tell you, to everyone who has, more will be given. But from the one who has not, even what he has will be taken away. Now as for those enemies of mine, who did not want me as their king, bring them here and slay them before me. After he had said this, he proceeded on his journey up to Jerusalem. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Pakibasa po yun na sa ibabo na altar. Pakilakas. Look at your left and at your right. What can you observe? Yung mga tao sa simbahan na ngayon naka-gift wrap, no? Iba-ibang kulay ng face mask. Yes, sometimes we, pro- we, we uh, encounter problems in our lives that even just to get out of the house, ano ba susutuin kong damit ngayon? Anong kulay? Okay, well and good. We are after our physical appearance. But the Lord looks into a better gift. The gift of our hearts. So we were patterned and really made in God's image and likeness. So every day as you move out of your house, how do you package yourself? So the gift that we speak of, more than the external appearance, is really the gift in your heart. From the time you were conceived, the Lord already has gifted us so many things. For instance, the theological virtues of faith, hope, and love. In our day-to-day living, the Lord has given us time, talent, and treasure. These are gifts that we have to really use wisely. How well do you really use these gifts that the Lord has given you? Because at the end of time, as we continue reflecting about the end times, we have to render an account before God. How well have you used your time? Time is precious, as we say. Time is sacred. Have you really sanctified your time? The talent that we speak of, the gifts, are really the things that we really receive from the Lord and be able to share with each other. And of course, the treasures that we speak of. More than material or physical, it's really the treasures we hold in our heart. So we thank the Lord for these gifts. If at the end of each day we have to render account before the Lord, what more at the end of time before we're given the reward? Yes, these days we remember really the Lord giving us so much, but have we really responded to His greatness, to His love for the gifts He has given to us? So we have to be grateful to the Lord that the more we are blessed, as always, I always say, be a blessing to others. The more you're given, share your gifts with one another. Yes, it's not only at the end of time that we have to render an account. 
every day render account before the Lord that hopefully at the end of each day we say to the Lord Lord I have given really the gifts that you have given me thank you for that giftedness that I don't only package myself in an external way but deep in my heart really the gifts are felt by other people around me We have been given by the Lord precious talents to be used for the growth of His kingdom on earth and for serving our brothers and sisters. Let us pray that we may not use them for personal interests and reasons, but what the Lord is really interested in is how we do it for other people. Use it. Like the servants who have received ten and five gold coins, may the clergy, missionaries, and other pastoral workers trade and multiply the money, living the security of home and excited by the mission to communicate the gospel to others. We pray. Lord, make, make us, us your good and faithful, faithful servants. servants. May pastoral workers not succumb to selfishness and spiritual laziness that make them avoid apostolic work and refuse any responsibility we pray lord make us your good and faithful servants may we realize that if we do not trade or use our gifts because of laziness or fear we will soon lose them we pray. Lord, Lord make, make us your, your good and faithful, faithful servants. May we realize that it is better to lose or suffer by loving and serving than not to love or serve at all. We pray. Lord, Lord make us your good and faithful servants. May our departed brothers and sisters, at the end of their labors in this life, Share the joy reserved for the good and faithful servants in heaven, we pray. Lord, Lord, make us your good and faithful servants. We continue to remember our faithful departed, especially this month of November. Father of all, we pray to you for those we love and see us no longer. Grant them your peace. Let perpetual light shine upon them. And in your loving wisdom and almighty power, work in them the good purpose of your perfect will. Through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Eternal rest grant unto them, O Lord. And the perpetual light shine upon them. May they rest in peace. Amen. May their souls and the souls of the faithful departed through the mercy of God rest in peace. Amen. Amen. Almighty Father, you have given us gifts and responsibilities each according to his ability his or her ability may we prove faithful to your to you both in small and large matters we ask all these prayers in the name of jesus our lord amen, amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever.
Pray, my dear family in Christ, that our sacrifice may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Grant, O Lord, we pray that what we offer in the sight of your majesty may obtain for us the grace of being devoted to you and gain us the prize of everlasting happiness through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and ever to give you thanks, Lord Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For just as through your beloved Son, you created the human race, so also through him, with great goodness, you formed it anew. And so it is right that all your creatures serve you, all the redeemed praise you, and all your saints with one heart bless you. Therefore we too extol you with all the angels as in joyful celebration we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. For this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The Mystery of Faith When we eat this bread and drink this cup We proclaim your death, O Lord Until you come again, until you come again Proclaim your death, O Lord. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life, the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. 
Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, and Jesse, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, the help of Christians, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with St. John Bosco and all the saints who have, placed, who have placed you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen, 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 amen. At the Savior's command and formed by divine teaching, we dare to say, our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope in the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. We now offer each other the sign of peace. Peace in your hearts, peace in your homes. Lamb of, Lamb, Lamb of God, God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold Jesus, the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the Supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word and my soul shall be healed. Act of Spiritual Communion Lord Jesus, you are the bread of life. Whoever eats this bread will live forever. I love you and desire to receive you in Holy Communion. At this moment, I cannot receive you in the sacrament of the Holy Eucharist. Come then spiritually and dwell in my heart. I embrace you and unite myself totally to you. May I never be separated from you. Amen.
Let us pray. We have partaken of the gifts of this sacred mystery, humbly imploring, O Lord, that what your Son commanded us to do in memory of him may bring us growth to ch in charity through Jesus Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. May Almighty God bless you and your loved ones, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Our sacrifice has been offered. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord and one another. Thanks be to God. Immaculate Mother, to you do we plead To ask God our Father for help in our need Ave, Ave, Ave Maria Ave, Ave, Ave Maria in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Brothers and sisters, as children of our Blessed Mother, we are gathered before her miraculous picture to honor her and to pray for all our needs. Unworthy children that we are, let us first of all ask God's mercy and pardon. Merciful Father, you sent your divine Son to redeem us by his death and resurrection and to give us new life. By this, you make us your children to love one another in Christ. How many times in the past we have forgotten the sublime dignity. We have sinned against our brothers and sisters. We have offended you. Merciful Father, forgive us. Repenting sincerely of our sins, we ask your mercy. May we always live as your truly devoted children. Mary Immaculate, star of the morning, chosen before the creation began destined to bring through the light of your dawning conquest of satan and rescue to man bent from your throne at the voice of our crying Look to this earth where your footsteps have trod. Stretch out your arms to us living and dying. Mary Immaculate, Mother of God. Novena Prayer Dear Mother of Perpetual Help, from the cross, Jesus gave you to us for our mother. You are the kindest, the most loving of all mothers. Look tenderly on us, your children, as we now ask you to help us in all our needs, especially this one. While you were on earth, dear mother, you willingly shared in the sufferings of your son. Strengthened by your faith and confidence in the fatherly love of God, you accepted the mysterious designs of His will. We too have our crosses and our trials. Sometimes they almost crush us to the ground. Dearest Mother, share with us your abundant faith and confidence in God. Make us aware that God never ceases to love us, that He answers all our prayers in the way that is best for us. Strengthen our hearts to carry the cross in the footsteps of your divine Son. Help us to realize that he who shares the cross of Christ 
will certainly share his resurrection. Dearest Mother, as we worry about our own problems, let us not forget the needs of others. You always love others so much. Help us to do the same. While praying for our own intentions and for the intentions of all here present at this novena, we earnestly ask you, our Mother, to help us comfort the sick and the dying, give hope to the poor and unemployed, heal the brokenhearted, walk in solidarity with the oppressed, teach justice to their oppressors, and bring back to God all those who have offended Him. Dearest Mother, help us to avoid sin, which separates us from Heavenly Father and from one another. Full of trust in you, we place ourselves under the mantle of your maternal protection and confidently hope for your compassionate intercession. Amen. Prayer for the Home Mother of Perpetual Help, we choose you as Queen of our homes. We ask you to bless all our families with your tender and motherly love. May the sacrament of marriage bind husbands and wives so closely together that they will always be faithful to each other and love one another as Christ loved his church. We ask you to bless all parents. May they love and cherish the children whom God has entrusted to them. May they always give them the example of a truly Christian life. Help them to bring up their children in the love and fear of God. Bless all children that they may love, honor, and obey their fathers and mothers. To your loving care, we especially entrust the youth of today. Give us all a sense of responsibility that we may do our part in making our home a haven of peace like your own home at Nazareth. We take you as our model. Help us to grow daily in genuine love of God and neighbor, so that justice and peace may happily reign in the entire family of mankind. Amen. Petitions to our Mother of Perpetual Help. Holy Mary, Holy Virgin conceived without sin, our Mother of Perpetual Help, we sinners call to you that we may be filled with the Holy Spirit and become courageous witnesses of Christ's love for men, that we may be more and more like our Divine Lord as you were, that we may be meek and humble of heart like your Son, Jesus, that we may fear losing God's friendship forever by unrepented sin. That we may see Christ's mercy and forgiveness constantly in the sacrament of penance. That we may be aware of God speaking to us in the events of daily life. That we may pray daily with love and trust, especially in moments of temptation that we may understand the value of worshiping God together in the Eucharist, that we may grow in the love of Christ and neighbor by frequent communion, that we may reverence our bodies as temples of the Holy Spirit, that we may strive to be true Christian by our loving concern for others, that we may proclaim the dignity of work by doing our own work conscientiously. That we may forgive from our heart those who have wronged us. That we may see the evil of seeking our interest at the expense of others. That we may work for the just distribution of this world's goods that we may share our talents with others for the good of the community, that we may accept our responsibility in the community 
in the spirit of genuine service. That the Holy Spirit may guide and strengthen Pope Francis, the bishops, and the clergy. That we may be blessed with an increase of priestly and religious vocations. That we may care and protect God's creation. That we may defend the human dignity and sanctity of human life from conception to natural death. That there will be genuine and lasting peace in the world. That we may bring the knowledge and love of Christ to those who do not know Him. That we may be aware of our dependence on God in the midst of human achievements. That we may be ready at death to enter the home of our Heavenly Father. That we may be comforted at the death of our dear ones by our hope in the risen Lord. That our departed brothers and sisters quickly share in your Son's resurrection. Holy Mary, pray for us. Pray for all the people of God. May all experience God's perpetual help. Lord, you gave us Mary to be our mother, ever ready to help us. Grant us the grace to have recourse to her in all our needs. Amen. Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, what shall I ask of Thee? I do not sigh for the wealth of earth, for the joys that fade and flee, but Mother of Christ, Mother of Christ, this do I long to see. The bliss untold which your arms and fold, the treasure upon your knee. Thanksgiving Prayer Lord Jesus Christ, Truly present in the most blessed Eucharist, we adore you. It has pleased the Father that in you all his fullness should dwell, and that through you he should reconcile all things to himself. Grant us the grace to be truly grateful for all that our Father has done for us. Grant that we may be truly sorry for our sins and renew our lives. Through you, we thank the Eternal Father for the gift of life. He has created all the wonderful things of this world for us. May we learn to use them well, so that through them, we may grow in love for Him. Above all, we thank our Father for sending you to us as the greatest expression of His love to save us and all creation by your death and resurrection. We thank you, Lord, for giving us your own mother to be our mother of perpetual help. May the countless favors we have received through her intercession, and especially through this novena, inspire us with greater confidence in God's loving mercy and perpetual help. Grant that we may always do the holy will of God and persevere in his love. To the most holy trinity, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, be honor, glory, and thanksgiving forever and ever. Amen. Prayer for the Sick Lord Jesus Christ, you bore our sufferings and carried our sorrows in order to show us clearly the value of human weakness and patience. Graciously hear our prayer for the sick, especially...
grant that they who are weighed down with pain and other afflictions of illness may experience God's healing power and comfort. Restore them to health in body and soul so that they can continue to serve you and their brothers and sisters. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Our Mother of Perpetual Health, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. Amen. 